What's up guys, Brian with HTG here, and we are back with some more LEGO The Incredibles. This happens to be the Super Supporter Challenge. That's right, we're gonna find and destroy the anti-super posters in each of the 10 districts. That's right, all anti-super posters can be found in this video. Now, quick reminder, we do have some quick links down below in the video description if you're needing a specific district, or if you just wanna kinda scan through and see if you remember getting the ones that we are about to get. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and tag the first one, which is in the far northeast corner back by the barn of Outer Municiburg. We're gonna do the same thing as before, where I'm gonna target each of the rough areas of where they are so I can fly or drive to them. And then once I get there, I'm going to go ahead and get the exact location, walk right up to it, show you the map one more time for the precise location, and then we'll go ahead and snag it. As you can see here, butt slam. Oh, no, no butt slam for the win. I thought for sure we were going to drop it like it's hot and uh, make the poster fall to its doom. All right, next up, we've got the residential area. Now, I'm also going to use the fast travel points as it's going to speed things up quite nicely, and it's also going to set us up for a real easy retrieval. So right now, all you got to do is turn around and fly over the building, and it is just slightly to the left when you're flying over, and booyah kashow, it's hiding in the back alley here. Now, you might have found this one while doing a crime wave as it brought us right here, and we had to do some, uh, I don't remember, we had to do some something with a bomb or something right there. I don't remember. It's been a while. Next up, we got the Tourist District, and again, we're going to use that fast travel to kind of head down there with the quickness, and it's going to be just east of where we spawn. Come on, come on. There we go. Sometimes that fast travel is like instantaneous. Sometimes it takes three or four seconds. Now, keep in mind, too, that I have sped this video up ever so slightly, so it is moving a little bit faster than real time, but not much. And we'll go ahead and walk up to it, and booyaka show. Three of them are officially done did. All right, next up, moving right along in that counterclockwise fashion, we're going to head over to the financial area and use that fast travel to get there one more time. That's right, and once we get here, we're going to head east again. This one is around the corner. Oh, and now that pesky objective marker is popping back up on our map. That is so weird, and I'm not sure why or what is happening or what's causing it. It definitely seems to happen more often than not lately. It was happening a lot in the free roam, happened in our last uh, cleanup crew challenge as well. But here we go. We got the fourth one hiding behind that dumpster right around the corner. Next up, industrial. Let's go ahead and use the fast travel to get there as well. And yet again, it's in the northeast corner. So definitely a little bit of a pattern here. And speaking of pattern, check us out on Twitter. If you haven't already and you are into that kind of thing, I highly recommend it as there's all sorts of info, contest info, pictures, things like that, video releases, all of that. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, this is kind of the uh, plan B to get up on the roof if you don't have a character that flies. Now, if you're doing this challenge and you don't have a flying character, I highly suggest you go and finish the story mode as you will get Syndrome for completing that. And it makes things a lot easier. Now, there's a couple of other flying characters as well, but Syndrome is probably the easiest to navigate to. All right, speaking of navigate, let's go ahead and head over to Urbum Heights. Now, this one is a little bit wonky. Not only does it go for a long drive, with look, look at the GPS stud points. It's like right behind me, like three feet behind me. And it's like, go over there, make a left. Nope, should have turned left at Abakaki. That's what you would have said if you would have followed those directions. Anyways, uh, moving along, we've got to... See, look at that. That is ridiculous. And now we've got that objective marker down there pulsing away too, trying to confuse both me and you. Uh, we'll get through it, I promise. As it turns out, though, that does happen to be where the, one of the last locations are. So it's weird because I, I, I do remember that as being something related to the story elements. Like w when you had a new story objective marker and you had to go from point A to point B, that, that's how you found out. But uh, it's doing it for my waypoint markers, which is really weird. All right, moving along at the docks, we're going to go ahead and hop into the old warehouse here and up in the upper, well, depending on which way you're looking at it. If you're looking in, it's on the upper right. If you're looking out, it's on the upper left corner there. But go ahead and give it the old smash and uh, we'll be on our way. The waterfront one is a little bit tricky. This is one of the first ones that isn't east of our fast travel point. And this one's actually going to be a little bit to the northwest. And it's going to be under the walking bridge that kind of connects the two districts here. So... We'll go ahead and fly all the way to the other side and then drop on under because it's sneaking around downtown. There we go. Booyaka show. Uh, I guess it's not quite downtown. It's almost downtown. 
about, about another 10 paces. All right, so we've got eight down, only two to go. Next one's going to be City Park, and this one's actually one of the easiest ones of them all. We're going to go ahead and use the fast travel, and notice I'm not marking anywhere. Well, I kind of am. I'm marking the fast travel point. Wonder why that is. It might have something to do with the fact that it's actually right around the corner here. We're going to walk inside and flip a Yui. There we go. There she blows. Go ahead and give it the old butt slam a -rooney and take it down, and we'll head to downtown next for the final one. That's right. Now, hopefully you guys uh, found this video awesome and easy. I tried to make this as, you know, uh, sequential and, and uh, straightforward as possible, too. Like, the fast travel, I feel, is, is, is a really good tool for everyone to use because now we're all in the same spot. We don't have to go, oh, he went right and left. And up. You just go left, and then there it is. All right, speaking of left, and there it is. got to go left, and then right, and then another quick left on the backside of this building here. It's right across from the Diamond Building, which is across the way. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and give it the old butt slam. And booyaka show. We've got all ten of them, which is going to give us a gold brick. And, of course, we're also going to get a blind mystery bag. We're we'll open it up. And who are you? Universal Man. I know absolutely nothing about Universal Man. I'll have to look him up. I know he's one of the old school supers, but Syndrome's happy. As you can see, he's giving the old yes. And uh, as for me, that's going to go ahead and wrap things up, and it's going to do it in for LEGO The Incredible Super Supporter Challenge. Hopefully you guys found all 10 of those posters quickly and easily with our help. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, check out the Thumby Must See. Social media is awaiting for you, too. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, till next time.